Dynamic scoring differs from static scoring only in that you allow for the size of the economy to change. You allow to yourself to answer the question, does the economy grow more rapidly and get bigger as a result of this legislation? If so, you incorporate into it the feedbacks that say with faster growth, you're going to get more revenue. With faster growth, you're likely to have less uh, spending on low-income transfer programs. And for the reverse, with slower growth, you'd get less revenue, you probably have higher spending. You get budgetary deficits wide. And that's the only difference between the static and the dynamic scoring. That the goal isn't to forecast. The goal is to rank proposals correctly. Those which have bigger revenues should systematically show more revenue than those who have smaller revenues, and you never want to get them out of order. If you do, you're giving the Congress really bad advice about which pieces of legislation they want to choose in order to hit their revenue targets and their spending targets. And so ranking things consistently is as at least important, maybe even more important, than forecasting accurately. And you can see that it's important information because you can imagine two proposals that have the identical static score. One of them causes economic growth, one of them doesn't, causes economic decline. They will have very different dynamic scores and the dynamic score will convey to the policymakers the information that one proposal is good for growth, the other is not, although they are otherwise identical from a budgetary point of view. And that's information that's valuable to the process. The answer is no. Uh, I was the CBO director when it did its first macroeconomic analysis of the President's budget in 2003. It's been going on for uh, every year since then. It hasn't damaged the budget process at all. It's more information that's out there about the President's proposals. The Joint Committee has done dynamic scoring on occasion. As the Senator mentioned, CBO has done it for an immigration bill. There, there's nothing that's damaging about doing it. 